All right, I came up a question about tips for shooting from a bench. Um, the reason that you'll need to do that on occasion is because you might be at a range to where it's frowned upon if you're trying to shoot positional or even prone. People really don't like you to, to do that at some public ranges, so you might be limited to just shooting from a bench. It could be that you're out in your own your own pasture, you've got some benches out there, uh, terrain features don't allow you to you know get load development taken care of, so you have to shoot from a bench. I got a buddy of mine from over in Corpus, Jacob Godfordson, started telling him I was gonna get some gear stuff for bench, for bench rest shooting. And so he brought this stuff over. You see, this is his bench rest rifle. Uh, we talked about it before we started filming this. It's about a, probably about an eight, dollars $9,000 setup here, not the least of which is the front rest. A little bit different than what we're doing you know, with bipods and bags and things like that. But this is a normal bench rest setup. These guys are out there. If they're shooting half-inch groups at the competitions they go to, uh, they're not even in the running. Uh, to win, you're shooting a tenth inch, uh, two-tenths of an inch, something like that in order to be able to uh, to be competitive. Whenever you look at this gun here, starting from the back, uh, the rear bag here that we have is very rigid. The bags that we use in the field normally, what you end up with is you end up something that's flexible that you can squeeze to adjust your elevation. Well, with this bag, it's not. This bag is very rigid. I've seen him come up here, he'll put his rifle in, and then he'll pound on the back of it. Once that's set on this rifle, the windage and elevation are adjusted by the front rest. And what it, I kind of laughing at him, it looks like it has a gear shifter on it, but you can see the movement that the rifle does for elevation and windage. And it's this is for shooting little bitty tiny groups. And whenever you're shooting this, you're actually keeping one hand on this adjustment so you can adjust for minor changes in the wind, things of that nature. Also, the other thing, look at their loading blocks. This looks like uh, something you have in your kitchen to keep your, your uh, knives in. Beautiful. But the way these rifles are done, no magazines. Um, loaded round goes in the left, spent case comes out the right. Very, very standard professional bench rest setup. The other thing, quick load, figuring out what this rifle has as far as bullet weight, weight of the rifle. You can figure out how much recoil this gun has. This gun has four pounds of recoil. So essentially, whenever you shoot it, there's not going to be affected by vibrations. It's just going to come straight back and straight forward. Again, two ounce trigger on here. This is a jewel. We'll shoot this. We got a little, that's cute. Put this in here. Whenever you're going to shoot this rifle, you simply come up. You don't even put it into your shoulder pocket at all. You just find out where you want your round to go. You come in, essentially on the trigger, and that's it. There's no control of the gun. Whenever I push it back forward into the stop on the front rest up here, it goes right back to where it was. Now, look at this ejection thing. I thought that was kind of cute. There it is. Um, these guns are typically not the guns that we shoot.